All right. Thanks for joining. We're going to do probably a 30 minute class. Um, and it's going to be, we'll do some sound citations and like some flows in the beginning to get warmed up, but then a lot of it will probably be a lot of stretching on the ground, more restorative style stuff today. Um, it's nighttime and haven't done one of these in a while. All right, let's um, get started lying on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. So Supta Baddha Konasana, press the soles of your feet together, butterfly your knees out to the width of your mat, <laughs> line all the way down to your back. You can place your hands wherever is comfortable. That can be down by your sides, palms up, down by your sides, palms down. Maybe one hand over your heart, one over your belly. Begin to bring your attention to your breath. Drawing deep breaths in through your nose and long breaths out your nose. Every time you breathe out, create an oceanic sound in the back of your throat. It's like you're trying to fog up a mirror, but your lips are closed instead of open. Take one more deep breath in, fill all the way up to the top of your chest. Slow breath back out your nose. Place your hands on your outer thighs and close your knees up together. Draw your knees in toward your chest, kind of gently rock from side to side. Press your low back down into the ground. Give it a nice little massage. Now bring your arms out to a T or a goal post if you don't have the space. And then gently drop your legs over to the left side. So stack your knees on top of one another. Stack your ankles on top of one another. Just an easy supine twist here. You can gaze up at the ceiling or drop your gaze over your right shoulder. Focusing this entire time on your breath. Draw your knees back to center. Now keep your arms out at a T. Gently drop your legs over to the right side, stacking your hips, your knees, and your ankles all on top of one another. Gaze up at the ceiling or over your left shoulder. Keep both shoulder blades grounded. Return your legs to center. Grab your, um, place the sole of your left foot on the ground and grab her behind your right thigh. And gently press your heel, your right heel up toward the ceiling. So feeling this opening right away through your right hamstring, flex your right toes toward your face. It will kind of intensify this stretch in your hamstring. Maybe with each exhale, you can draw your leg a little bit closer toward your chest. Drop your right leg down to the ground. Place the sole of your right foot into the ground. Grab for behind your left leg. Pick your left leg up and then press your left heel up toward the ceiling. Flex your left toes toward your face. Really use your breath to sink into this stretch. Maybe pulling your leg a little closer toward yourself with each exhale. Drop your left leg back down to the ground. 
breath for behind your thighs. Rock and roll the length of your spine a few times, giving your nice spine a little massage. When you catch enough momentum, come up to a tall seat. You can cross your legs or press the soles of your feet together, whatever's comfortable here. Place your right hand down on the ground next to you. Inhale, reach your left arm up, and exhale, bend toward the right side, keeping both sit bones glued to the floor. You can gaze up towards your left hand, feel the stretch along your left side body. Inhale, rise back up, place your left hand next to you on the floor. Inhale, reach your right arm up, and exhale, side body stretch, reach toward the left. Really press down through your right sit bone. Feel the stretch in your intercostal muscles, the little muscles in between your rib cage. Inhale, rise back up. Plant your palms on the ground and come back to a tabletop position. Stack your knees underneath your hips, and your wrists underneath your shoulders. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly down to the ground. Lift your gaze to the wall in front of you. Exhale, cat pose, press the ground away, pull your spine up to the ceiling. Inhale, cowl pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat pose, pull your belly button up into your spine. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Take some time to settle into this position. You can bend into one knee, bend into the next. Now bring your attention to your palms. Spread your fingers really wide and press your big knuckles into the ground. And as you do that, lift your tailbone up and press your chest closer toward your thighs. Find as much length throughout your spine as possible in this position. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Step your feet behind your wrists. At about hip width distance, drape your torso over your thighs. Option two, leave your hang hands dangling toward the ground or grab your opposite elbows. Let your head just hang heavy. Drop your arms down to the ground. Toe heel your feet together to touch, leaving just a sliver of space between your heels. On an inhale, slowly roll all the way up to stand. No rush to get to the top whenever you do. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. And exhale, release your shoulder blades down your back. Press your palms together at heart center. Let's take a nice breath together. Exhale out any air in your lungs. Now take a deep breath in, seal your lips. Deep breath back out your nose. Drop your arms down to your sides. Inhale, mountain pose, arms up. Reach your arms overhead. Spiral your pinkies inward toward one another. This will create an external rotation in your shoulders and drop your shoulders away from your ears. Take one more breath in. Exhale forward, fold, hinge from your hips, dive all the way down to the ground. Option to bring a bend to your knees here if that's more accessible. Inhale, halfway lift, press your palms to your shins or thighs, snap your belly button up into your spine and shift your weight forward to your ball mount. Take a breath in. Exhale, ball pose, squat and curl. Come up onto your, um, the ball mounds of your feet, so lift your heels up and then press your heels together. You can tent your fingers on the ground here. Curl your spine, your upper back, so you're curling over your legs. Now drop your heels down to the ground. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, samasitihi, hands together at heart center. Drop your arms down, inhale, mountain pose, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. 
Exhale, ball pose, squat and curl. Pull your heels up, hold here for a moment. Now really pull your ankles toward one another. You can keep your fingers tented if you want a little bit of a balance challenge. Maybe grab, maybe uh, wrap your arms around your shins. And drop your heels down to the ground. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Arms by your sides. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up, pinkies inward. Exhale, forward fold. Ride your breath down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, high plank this time. Plant your palms, step your feet back. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your heels over your toes. Dome the valley in between your shoulder blades, so press the ground away. Stay here for one more breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Flex your right toes down to the ground. Take another breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot in between your palms. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms up overhead. You can stay here with your arms up or interlace your hands around your front thigh. Shift your hips and your pelvis forward. Feel this deep stretch along your left hip flexor. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Now inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Draw your left arm forward, right arm back. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can gaze toward the side wall or toward your back hand. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms back up. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your palms. Lift your right knee up off of the ground. High plank. Step your right leg back to meet your left. Stay here for a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips back. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Flex your left toes to the ground, even the weight between your palms. Take one more breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot between your hands. Drop your right knee down to the ground. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms up overhead and breathe here. Again, you can keep your arms up. You can interlace your hands around your front thigh. Gently rock forward and back. We press your hips forward and tuck your tailbone a little. That'll accentuate the stretch throughout your right hip. Now inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist, try your left arm back, right arm forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your left knee stacked directly over your right, or your left ankle rather. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms back up. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, pull your right knee off the ground. Step your left leg back to a high plank. Stay here for a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot between your hands, drop your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, crescent moon. Now this time, exhale, open arm back bend. Lift your heart up toward the ceiling and goal post your arms. So deepen the stretch in your left hip flexor even more. Inhale, crescent moon, arms up. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, lift your left knee up. Step your right leg back, stay here for a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your left leg between your hands, drop your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, crescent moon, draw your left arm back up. 
Exhale, open arm back bend, goal post your arms, shift your hips forward, lift your heart up toward the ceiling. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms back to center. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, lift your right knee up. Step your left leg back to a high plank, take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Take another deep breath in here. Slow breath out your nose. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Now exhale, bend your right knee toward your, yep, yeah, or bend your right knee and open up your hip. So you're drawing your right ankle toward your left foot. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot between your hands, drop your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, crescent moon, arms up. Exhale, open arm back, bend, goal post your arms, lift your heart. Inhale, crescent moon, now this time exhale, half splits. Straighten your right leg, point your right toes up toward the ceiling. Tense your fingers next to your right leg and find this hinge from your hips. Rather than curving in your back, you wanna keep your back nice and straight and hinge from your hips. That's what's really gonna deepen this stretch in your hamstring. Continue to take deep breaths in and out your nose, creating that oceanic sound in your throat. Now inhale, crescent moon, shift your weight forward, reach your arms back up overhead. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, pull your left knee up off the ground. High plank, step your right leg back, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Inhale, lift your left leg high. And exhale, bend your left knee, open up your left hip, draw your left Ankle toward your right butt cheek. Inhale, kick your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step your left leg between your palms, drop your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, open arm twist, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, crescent moon, arms up. Exhale, open arm back bend, feel the stretch in your right hip flexor. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split, straighten your left leg. Come up onto your left heel and point your left toes up toward the ceiling. So stack your right hip over your right knee. Hinge from your hips. So neutralize your spine. And then on your exhales, bend just a little bit deeper. Begin to shift your weight forward. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, lift your right knee up. Step your left leg back to a high plank, take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, draw your right knee toward your right wrist and plant your shin down on the ground. Flex your right toes toward the wall in front of you so your ankle is bent. This will protect your joints here and your knee, your ankle. Now you can stay up in an active pigeon if you'd like. Begin to hinge your chest down for a sleeping pigeon. If you're in sleeping pigeon, just ground your forehead on something that can be your hands, it can be the ground. This is an easy posture to feel a lot of tension in. There's a lot of tensions built up in your hips, especially if you've been sitting all day. Your hips are constantly flexed. So just let your, use your breath to allow yourself to sink into this posture, releasing any of that tension from your hips.
Begin to press weight back into your palms. Come back to an active pigeon. Tuck your back toes under. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg back to meet your left. Option to take a little counter stretch here, bending your right knee and opening up your hip again. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. Draw your left knee towards your left wrist and your left ankle toward your right wrist. It's okay if your left shin isn't totally parallel with the top of your mat. It's a ton of flexibility to get into that position, so that's fine. Just keep your left foot um, flexed toward the wall in front of you. Even the weight between both hips so you're not completely on your right, you're not completely on your left. You can stay here or hinge down to sleeping pigeon. Drawing your chest toward the ground and you're grounding your forehead on something. Begin to press weight back into your palms. Come up to an active pigeon. Tuck your back toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your left leg back. Option again for a counter stretch, bending your left knee and opening up your hip once again. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, come through to a seat. So roll over onto um, your butt. We'll take some hamstring stretches here. So press, um, re extend your um, left leg, press the sole of your right foot into your inner left thigh. Now, um, first place your forearm on the inside of your left leg so your palm faces up. Really ground down through your right sit bone and reach your right arm up toward the ceiling. Next, he'll reach your right arm forward as much as you can. It's fine if it doesn't go very far down toward your foot. If you're super flexible, you might be able to reach down and get your hand a little closer toward your foot, but wherever you're at is fine. Just feeling a stretch along your right side. On an inhale, rise back up. Grab for um, whatever is accessible here. Um, pivot your torso toward your extended leg and reach for either your foot or your calf. Drawing your forehead or your chin down toward your knee. It's okay if you don't hinge that far, just in that general direction. On an inhale, rise back up. Switch out your sides, so extend your right leg. Press the sole of your left foot on your inner right thigh. And start by placing your forearm on the inside of your right leg. Your right palm faces up toward the ceiling. Press your left sit bone down into the ground. Reach your left arm up. And exhale, reach your left arm forward toward your right leg. So it's in that general direction. You're reaching down toward your right foot. Find as much space along your left side as you can. Inhale, rise back up. Pivot your torso towards your right leg and grab for whatever you can grab, your leg, your foot and hinge down over your right leg. One side might be totally different from the other, that's fine. It's normal to have unevenness in your body.
Inhale, rise back up. Extend both legs out in front of you. So we'll start here um, in it's called staff pose, Dandasana. Press your palms next to your um, hips. Really press them into the ground and feel this length from your tailbone all the way through the crown of your head. So gaze at your toes, flex your toes up toward the ceiling and focus on your deep breaths in and out your nose. Every inhale, drawing your breath all the way up to the top of your chest, constricting the back of your throat with each exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhale, seated forward, fold, hinge from your hips, grab again for whatever is accessible. That can be your shins, it can be the tops of your feet, the outer edges of your feet. Inhale, rise back up. Press the soles of your feet together to touch. So for um, Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Um, you can stay right here. You can pull your heels as close to your body or as far away from your body as you need. Um, so you can stay upright. You can grab for your feet, like for underneath your feet, and then hinge forward. Um, just however much of a stretch and sensation you'd like. So you don't really need to come all the way down to the ground just as far as you'd like to go. Now inhale, rise back up if you had folded over. Pull your knees in, bend the soles of your feet down to the ground, recline all the way down to your back. Press your palms down into the ground and um, move your heels as close to your glutes as you can get them. So maybe you can even graze your heels with your fingertips. Press really hard down into your heels, inhale bridge pose, lift your hips up toward the ceiling, Pressing down through your feet to lift up a little bit higher. Maintain space between your chin and your chest. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower your hips down to the ground. Lift your um, right ankle up and over your left thigh for a figure four. You can stay right here with your left foot planted, or you can Lift your right, your left leg off the ground and grab for behind your left thigh. This will just intensify the stretch a little bit. Now switch out your sides here. Drop the sole of your right foot to the ground. Reach your left ankle up and over your right thigh. And then you can stay right here with this gentle hip opener if you'd like to take it further. Lift your right foot off the ground, grab for hot behind your right thigh. If you're taking this variation with your right leg lifted, maybe you use your left elbow to press your left knee open a little bit. Drop your feet back down to the ground. Hug your knees in toward your chest and grab for the outer edges of your feet for happy baby. Pulling your knees down toward your side bodies. Stamp the soles of your feet on the ceiling above you. You can gently rock from side to side, massaging your low back. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your forearms around your shins, and pull your forehead up to your knees. Squeeze yourself into a little ball as tight as you can. Compress every muscle to every bone. Take a breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Let your arms and legs go long. Find a nice, comfortable position here to rest in. Doesn't need to be any particular shape, just however you're comfortable. And 
Relax your feet, let them splay out wide. Feel your backs of your legs melting down into the ground. Release any tension from your quad muscles, your hips, your abs. Release your arms wherever you like. Palms up, palms down. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Relax the muscles in your forehead. Take just a few minutes here to rest in Shavasana. And release any breathing techniques. Let your breath return to its natural cadence. Stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you'd like to be guided out tonight, begin to bring small movements to your fingers, wiggle your toes, pull out your ankles and your wrists. Take a nice long body stretch, reach your arms overhead, point your toes. Roll on to either side, your right or your left, drawing your knees up into your chest. Use your bicep as a pillow for fetal pose. Press yourself up to a tall seat. Finding a nice comfortable seat, you can place your hands on your knees and your lap at heart center. Gently close your eyes or soften your gaze. Finish out with one breath together. Wherever you're at in your round of breath, take a nice deep breath, deep breath out your mouth. Now take a deep, full breath in through your nose. Feel your belly and lungs expand. Hold your breath in at the top. Open mouth, exhale, sigh your air out. Lift your thumbs to your third eye center, the space between your eyebrows and your forehead. The light in me honors and sees the light in all of you. Bow forward. Namaste. Very relaxing. <laughs>